Gentle release and restore today. We're going to have a foam roller. Set that nearby for you. And we're going to have a soft ball. Um, something that will give under the weight of your body. Um, we want it to be gentle because we're going to move it into our stomach and abdomen area. So I like to lie on the ball prone. And what I want you to think of a little bit, we're going to start kind of not on your diaphragm and not on your pubic bone, right? So in between, really sort of in your um, tummy. Coming down, a couple options, right? You can stay on your forearms if that feels okay. Um, legs are lengthened, so you've got a pretty decent base of support. And I'm actually just going to rock a little right to left. And just start to kind of explore um, any pressure that might be in your tummy, in your um, intestine. Um, I, we were kind of talking earlier about um, like gas, right, pressure. So this gentle movement might help to kind of move things along. A little rocking. If it feels good, maybe you actually hold your body still, bend at the knees, and start to just kind of rock your feet a little side to side. So that ball's kind of responding underneath you just a little bit. You might feel that weight shift in the ball. See how that feels. So I'm kind of directly over my navel. Just kind of exploring the area. Right and left. I'm going to go ahead and move the ball now just a little bit more to my left side. I'm going to roll just a little bit towards the left. So I like to kind of actually bend my right leg. My left leg is straight with the toes flexed into the mat. And now I'm going to roll up and down from kind of the low left rib to the eye of my hip crease. So I'm now more on the left side of my abdominal wall, left side of my pelvis, left side of my waist. So kind of just a little bit of movement. And then I'm going to come back through center, rolling kind of up and down through center and start to go over to my right side a little bit. So I'm turning just a little bit to kind of expose my right and my left side of my waist, opening it into the ball underneath me. Last two. And last one. Coming back through center, if it feels good, maybe bringing it a little bit lower, almost like between those two ASIS points. So now I'm a little bit below my navel, and I'm going to rock again. Just kind of see how, how, what feels good for you. You know, maybe your legs stay straight and you continue to rock the hips, or maybe you bend your knees and then rock your heels. Just see how that feels. We're going to do this just a couple more times, kind of gently massaging the waist. And then go ahead and carefully lengthen the legs out. We're going to move up into our diaphragm just a little bit. So the ball is now going to come up, sort of below the xiphoid process, right in front of your diaphragm. And go ahead and kind of soften your body down. We're kind of going to move into a swan um, to massage the front of our um, abdominal wall, diaphragm, a little bit of a push down into the hands. You're not going to come up very high. You're kind of just pivoting on the ball to see what that feels like. You're kind of using the ball to lift up to the heart and then melt back down and feel like you're going to round your body around the ball. Let the shoulders feel heavy. Try not to push too much from your upper traps, right? This isn't shoulders to the ears. We're going to try to keep them back and down. Maybe can you push into your elbows just a little bit? Just see what that feels like. And then soften. Just do that just twice more. Kind of pivoting straight. We've done this a lot without the ball, right? So we all know that feeling of lift. And now there's something underneath us that kind of gently massaging. If it feels good, maybe start to turn a little bit to the right. See what that feels like. Kind of move your shoulder girdle too, right? Not just through the head and neck. But again, you're pivoting on that ball now left to right. See what that feels like. And back and forth. If this is too high, maybe you want to do the same thing a little lower. 
right? To see how that feels. I feel like I want to move my ball down just a little bit. You can see, ooh, very different. I'm a little bit lower and creeping. Just a little bit of massage right and left. And come back through center, last little lift all the way up to see what that feels like. And then melt all the way down carefully, push into your hands, bending at your knees. The ball stuck to me. <laughs> come back up to kneeling. Go ahead and remove your ball, placing that out of the way for now, and grab your foam roller. I'm really excited to release uh, my upper back today because uh, some of our prone work, some of that extension work we've done this week, has got my back a little tight, so this will feel really good today. Coming down onto the foam roller, I'm gonna feel for my tips of my scapula, and I'm going to bring the foam roller low. So we're gonna move through that full rinse, starting at the bottom of our scapula, moving up to the top of our shoulders. Let's find a big stretch to start, and go ahead and lift up and over, and let everything go. Oh, maybe a little snap, crackle, pop if it feels good. Extend your fingertips long towards the far side of the room and wrap your body around that foam roller, mm, like a big rainbow. Now exhale, cradle the head and the hands, lift, <sighs> head, neck, and chest, pivoting, come up. Ooh, that was a big stretch. Remembering to breathe, try not to get lightheaded. Again, lengthening up and over. And then exhale, <sighs> pivot and lift. Back. Oof. So from here, let's keep the waist still and let's move next into just a little bit of our upper thoracic extension. So a little bit smaller, try to lift up and back, thinking really from your heart, like you're lifting your heart up towards the ceiling and then pivot. Lift your heart up towards the ceiling and then pivot. So think of your waist again. Think of your abdominals. They're not moving now. Holding relatively still. Think of your hips as kind of like an anchor point that you're lifting your heart up and out of. Last two. Feel for those floating ribs and the tips of your scapula massaging against the foam roller, lifting up, hold. Rock right to left, kneading your back into the foam roller underneath you. Last two, and last one. All the way back up through center, push into your heels to lift your hips and hold. Now we don't have to go very far, just a little up an inch and down an inch, as we massage kind of the tips of our scapula, the floating ribs. I'm gonna shift my weight just a little bit to the right, and then a little bit to the left. And I just wanna see what that feels like. And again, a little to the right, and a little bit to the left. Back through center, find that position, hold, dropping your hips down. Let's just take a breath. And on this breath, I want you to think that you're going to inhale down into the foam roller underneath you. And exhale completely. Walk your foam roller up an inch. Hips come down an inch. And then same thing, keep your waist cinched and lift up through the heart. And then exhale, pivot. Lift up to the heart. And then exhale, pivot. Try to stay anchored through your feet and your hips. And think a little bit that your elbows are lengthening away from your hip creases. Two. And last one. Back up, hold, we go side to side. Rocking right and left. Feeling a little bit like you're kneading your back into the foam roller, sort of like you've got a, an itch back there you're dying to scratch. Last two, last one. Back through center, hold, push into your heels, lifting the hips, roll up an inch and down an inch. This is small, just a little massage towards the middle of your back. I'm going to, again, shift my weight to the right just a little bit, and then shift my weight to the left. Just see what that feels like. A little back and forth, right, and left. 
and then back through center, finding your starting position, lower your hips down, take your inhale, and exhale completely. Walk the foam roller up an inch, the hips come down an inch, same thing, inhale to lengthen up and back, feel that stretch, and exhale, pivot. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale, pivot. Inhale to lengthen two. And exhale to pivot. Let your head feel cradled in your hands. Oh, exhale, pivot. Holding here, rock right to left. Massaging your back into the foam roller. Last two. And last one. Back up through center, hold, pushing through your heels, lift your hips, push the foam roller all the way to the bottom of your ribs, staying on your ribs, and then pull back to the top of your shoulders. As you push, let's drop the elbows wide, exhaling. As you pull, float the elbows up, inhaling. Exhale, push. Inhale, pull. Exhale, push. And inhale, pull big brush strokes up and down your back, really massaging. Full rib cage, last two. Almost there, last one. Carefully bring that foam roller back underneath you, lowering the hips. Take your last inhale here. Exhale completely. Carefully bring your hands onto the foam roller and press yourself all the way up. Bring that foam roller underneath you. We'll massage back into our waist with a little bit of rotation. So from here, we're going to find a figure four with our right foot. We're going to find that QL release at the back. So the elbow is going to come behind us. I'm going to kind of shift my weight onto my right, excuse me, right hip just a little bit. The foam roller is between the top of my pelvis and my low ribs. If you're long-waisted, you'll have more room there. If you're short-waisted like me, it's just a little bit smaller range of motion. Figure four, that right foot, and just see how this feels today. Um, any tightness through the back of your right hip, any tightness through the back of your right waist. Lots of times I think if we're standing, we start to um, feel that in our low back, right? We start to feel the tension of keeping our body upright because we realize what's holding us upright actually is our um, low back muscles. And so that's kind of a combination of getting those low back muscles to release and strengthening the abdominals. So we don't have that kind of pain or tension from standing. And last one. Now from here, add a little bit of a push down into that left foot. Try to curl the wheel of your pelvis towards your nose. And what I want you to visualize is that you're lengthening the low back and then place it back down. Exhale, scoop. And inhale, soften. How long can you get your tailbone like away from that last rib? It's not a very big movement. Again, strengthening our abs and lengthening our low back too. Almost there. Last one, lifting that up, hold. If it's available for you, just a little massage up and down. Now this is um, a really tender area for some of us. So um, I'm on a soft foam roller and I feel comfortable with this. If at any point it becomes too intense, please come off of it. A little release. Soften the hips back down. Take your last inhale in this position. And exhale completely. <sighs> Carefully thread your right leg underneath and turn towards the right. So we're still in our waist. I like um, keeping the foam roller there because I like to try to think of my lateral and posterior um, breathing. So how do I feel my ribs expand, you know, side and back? I'm gonna actually lay my legs on top of each other and um, standing kind of strong in that right hand, right arm, left hand comes behind the head, we add our twist. So let's tuck our tailbone just a little bit as we turn down and then lift through the heart and rotate up. 
So now I'm twisting through my waist. Again, kind of wringing out my organs. Using my abdominal muscles, right? flexing and extending actually helps with our digestion, right? Moving through the body. Last two. And back up. Almost there. Last one. And back up. And then carefully, let's bring ourselves all the way up. Let's keep going with our mermaid. Right leg comes in front, left leg comes behind. Right hand comes onto that foam roller, left arm opens out. Think of this as a waist exercise, right? Massaging through our waist. Left hand is long, slide the foam roller away, and then lift through your waist, right? So how are you sort of translating those ribs, right and left? So when I go to the right, I think I'm stretching, I'm trying to stretch, between the floating rib and the top of my hip. And then when I pull up, I'm actually shortening that space and lifting through the obliques. Once more. All the way back up. Let's turn and wring out our organs again. So rotating to the right, Let's just see what this feels like, both hands. And what I want you to do for just a moment, actually, is check where your rib cage is, right? Where are your shoulders? Did your left hip come all the way with you? Or can you kind of keep that left hip down and think twisting through your obliques and your waist, turning to the side, right? So from here, I want you to go ahead and reach through your fingertips, start to melt your body close to the mat underneath you and stretch yourself out. And just see what that feels like for a minute. Take an inhale here. And exhale, start to melt through your shoulders, lift through the layers of abdominals, keep that left hip back, and start to find that little extension again. Think of the stretch we did over the ball earlier, right? How are we sort of lifting through the front of our body, reaching through the fingertips, melting ourselves down, trying to stretch open Right. From your ribs all the way to your pubic bone. And last one, reaching. Exhale, melt through the shoulders, lift through the heart all the way up. Soften everything down, hold here a beat. I want you to stay reaching through your fingertips. We're going to find our left glutes just a little bit. It's not going to be a big lift, but from here I want you to lift the left leg and tap and lift and tap. And what I want you to think of just a little bit is that your left knee is lengthening towards the far side of the room. If you peek under your right arm, can you see your foot, right? So sort of behind you, think of, think of um, wrapping the left hip open so much that you see your foot behind you. Last three, give me two. Last one, hold. Extend through the left leg and bend. Extend through the left leg and bend. Reaching, feel your glute flex. Think of your fingertips as still lengthening away from you. You're still long through your arms and your waist. Last three. Give me two. Almost there, last one. Lengthening, good, bend. Soften the knee, let's do one more extension, melting through the shoulders, lifting through the abdominals, lengthening through the front of your body, softening everything back down. We're gonna do that once more. Reaching through those fingertips, lift through the waist. Think that you're gonna hold yourself in this reach and then lift the left knee and soften. And lift and soften. Can you open the eye of your left hip crease? Keep your fingertips lengthening Try to wrap the shoulders back and down. Three, last two. Lift it up, hold, extend, and bend. Extend, and bend. Last six. Give me five. Last four. Open through your left waist. Think of the rib to the toe. Last two. And last one. Soften that leg back down, scoop the wheel of your pelvis, start to press down to the foam roller to pick yourself all the way back up. Whew, little release. We're gonna flip.
the legs through center and switch the foam roller to the other side. So we'll find the QL release on the left and we'll move through that same, same series. Coming down onto your left arm, right leg, right foot firmly planted, left figure four. Ooh, there's a nice stretch for that glute we just worked. Yeah? And then from here, go ahead and just, just gentle rock right and left. So think of this position as the pelvis doesn't change, or excuse me, the shoulders don't change. The pelvis and the waist are rocking just a little bit. As you drop your foot towards the right, you might feel a deeper stretch through your left hip. Let's do three. Last two. And last one. Nice stretch there. Hold through center. Push through your foot. Scoop the pelvis towards you and release. And scoop, and release. Scoop. Think of this as a posterior tilt, right? Same thing we do when we're lying on our back. Right? Lifting those layers. Last three. Soften. Two. And last one. We'll lift through the hips. Hold. Now go up and down just a little bit. A little massage. little massage. Maybe falling towards your spine just a little bit or falling towards your left waist just a little bit. Kind of playing. See how that feels. Back through center. Soften everything down. Find your breath again and see if you can direct it into the back of your left rib cage. Soften, release. Go ahead. Carefully turn now towards your left. Knees, legs, Kind of lengthen out, hand down onto the mat, and then the other one behind your head. We find our rotation. Tuck your pelvis, scoop, turn down towards your floor. And then lift to the heart. Find a baby extension lifting up towards the ceiling. And lengthening, lifting. Your left shoulder is working. Turning down. And last one. <sighs> Lifting, twisting, and then carefully coming back through center. Push yourself back up. We find our mermaid on this side. So again, think of this as work for your waist, obliques little bit of shoulder connection, right? So how are you connecting your arms, pushing down into that bone roller to feel your waist turn on, stretching it and then lifting. I visualize kind of like a rainbow through my left waist. Lifting, let it happen, let it wave. You can kind of release through the head and the neck if that feels good. Last two. Almost there, last one. All the way back up, good. Return now towards the left. Think that your right hip, right leg is heavy, right? So that you can turn your rib cage separate of this pelvis. Careful, it doesn't want to come with you, but it works to stay anchored back and down. Start to pour yourself towards your foam roller, twisting, turning through your waist, Reaching through those fingertips, take a moment and stretch. Think, how am I lengthening my fingertips away from that anchored pelvis? And try to open, ooh, this side is so different, the right ribs all the way to your right knee. Now push down into the foam roller, start to lift through the heart. Find that little extension and melt back down, reaching. And exhale, push and lift. Wrapping your shoulders back and down. Can you stay anchored through that right hip? Lifting. Pour yourself all the way down to a position and hold. Now we work into our right leg. So can you peek under your left arm and see your foot? All right, so think that the eye of your right hip crease is open. And then we're going to lift the leg and lower, and lift and lower. And visualize your opening from your right hand all the way to your right knee. 
lengthening and lifting. So we're opening the right obliques. Three, last two, and one. Lift the leg, hold, extend, and bend. Reach the fingertips away from that right foot. Lengthening and bend. Last six. Give me five. Four. Last three. Give me two. And last one. Bend. Put, soften it down. Push into the foam roller. Start to lift through the heart. Finding that extension. Opening through that left hip. Soften everything back down. Last time here. Again, lifting through the thigh. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, last two, lift, hold, extend, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, last two, and one, bend, Soften the knee, scoop the wheel of your pelvis, start to press down to the foam roller to pick yourself all the way back up. Whew, turn through center. Real quick, soften your um, hands on the foam roller, come to like a diamond position in front. So if that's comfortable for your knees and your hips, those feet can be as far out in front of you as you need to. Um, I'm gonna push my heels into each other just a little bit. And then maybe rock just a little right to left. So feel both your right and your left sit bone. <laughs> Try to open up kind of through the base of your pelvis just a little bit. Holding on to your shins, come through center. Let's just take a little bit of a breath. And I want us to think about sort of a big expansion down into the base of your pelvis, waist, all the way to the top of your head. And exhale. Last one. Soften and release.